course, if you haven't read the question or you'd like to reread it, please pause the video and do so now. The question is asking us, of course, to find how many grams of lithium nitride are obtained from the reaction based on the fact that five grams of each reactant had under, undergone the reaction. So what we need to do first is to decide which of the two reactants is going to be the limiting reagent. And one way to do this is to simply calculate how much product we could expect based on the given amount of each reactant. And so we are told that we have five grams of each reactant. So we'll take five grams of the lithium and five grams of the nitrogen and try to calculate how much product we would obtain from those starting amounts. So let's set that up. We can work with the lithium first and then later work on the nitrogen. So in determining how much product is produced, we have to do a series of unit conversions, essentially. And the basic process requires us to take whatever unit we have in our quantity and carry it down diagonally to the denominator of, of the next term here. So since we have grams of lithium in our first number, we're going to end up with grams of lithium in the denominator. And of course, it turns out that we can convert grams of lithium easily into moles of lithium by referring to the periodic table. According to the periodic table, one mole of lithium is equal to 6.941 grams of lithium. And when the units are aligned diagonally, as they are here, grams of lithium and grams of lithium, they end up canceling out. So we can cross those off and we are currently left with moles of lithium. Now we can actually move on and relate the moles of lithium to the moles of our product, which is lithium nitride. And according to the balanced reaction, we can see that two moles of the product are formed from six moles of lithium. So we would wanna put six moles of lithium on the denominator so that the moles of lithium cancel with these moles of lithium. And then we have in the numerator two moles of the product lithium nitride. We can do one more unit conversion to figure out how many grams of the product would be formed. And so we're once again going to refer to the periodic table. On the bottom here, we would have one mole of lithium nitride so that the units cancel. And then according to the periodic table, one mole of lithium nitride is roughly 34.823 grams. So we can go ahead and use our calculator to determine what the final number of grams of lithium nitride would be. And we would obtain the following result. Now we're going to set up a similar series of unit conversions for the nitrogen in order to determine how much product would be formed based on five grams of nitrogen. So let's go ahead and set that up in a similar way, a little more speedily this time. Now when we finish that calculation, we can see that it is the five grams of lithium that leads to the fewer number of grams of product. So whenever you have two or more reactants and you calculate the grams of product, you want to select the fewest number of grams of product. In the language of limiting reagents, we would say that the, the lithium is the lit a limiting reagent as opposed to the nitrogen. So now we know how many grams of lithium nitride would theoretically be produced, but the question states that we only obtained 88.5% of what we expected. So we really just have to take 88.5% of this number of grams, and that will tell us the actual number of grams that were produced in this reaction. So we can come down here and do that. We're basically just going to take 88.5% and multiply that by the calculated number of grams. That calculated number of grams, once again, is referred to as the theoretical yield. What we're determining is the actual yield. And that turns out to equal approximately 7.4 grams of lithium nitride. 